standing pretty close to it. And I realized all of a sudden that they, Kanye and Diddy, have realized that I'm the only girl mm. in the room. <clears throat> and they're like, their minds. And they start coming towards me and they're like, hmm, don't you want to take your clothes off? Like, it's so hot in here. And I'm like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine like this. And they're like, come on, like, it's just us. It's like, we're all just friends. Like, let us just like see like how you look. And I'm like, okay, I don't, I'm fine. And like, I still haven't gotten scared yet. You know, like I'm still like, this is a bad situation. I'm creeped out, but like, there's no reason to panic. Mm. There's other men here. And they're getting to the point where they have like ripped my shirt off. And um, like, I'm like almost fully exposed at this point. And they're both coming at me and I'm like, you guys, like, seriously, this, is, this isn't funny. And they were trying to get my pants off. And I realized that I was completely alone. And um, I closed my eyes for a second. And I was like, God help me. What is up, guys? Welcome to another video. I hope that you guys are all doing good. Now, I've been very reluctant to make this video because I've heard of these allegations what were well, maybe what two weeks in and i did not really believe them but now the second victim is coming out i don't think that she is pressing charges i think she's just coming out with her story uh but then again it's not believe all women or believe all men i think we should listen to both sides take 50 percent from what the women are saying 50 percent from what the men are saying because i was wrong i have to put that out there I thought that Cassie was lying or she was inflating the situation until I saw the footage and then I was convinced. So I'm like, I'm gonna have an open mind. I can't be preaching about, oh, you should have an open mind and stop having dogmatism and all of that. If I can't have an open mind myself when it comes to my favorite artists, I think that Kanye West is brilliant. I think he is one of the greatest artists of all time. But I also think with that brilliance comes a lot of chaos. Uh, Kanye, just like what Andrew Tate, both of them for some reason decided to step away from God. And this is what happens when you walk away from God. Kanye just announced that he was going to do what Yeezy P word. Um, so he wanted to do that. And I did not understand why he he wanted to do that but apparently he was pushing for it so i'm um, hopefully he can learn from this and he can come back and do what the sunday service things because kanye was together with what kim kardashian and they were in a was it eight year relationship or maybe longer i am not really keeping up with the kardashians but they were together for a very long time and Kanye West, during the time that he was with Kim Kardashian, he was flourishing. He became a billionaire. Everything seemed to be moving in the right direction for Kanye West. But then he divorced Kim or Kim divorced him. Then again, I'm not keeping up with the Kardashians. So I think maybe, yeah, maybe it might have been Kim which filed for divorce. And then, then his world just came crashing down. Uh, I'm one of the lucky ones. I got out when I could. Uh, I was only, I was like lucky enough to only be like assaulted like twice. Okay, I have to put this out there. I am an artist as well. And I've never been, what, sexually assaulted. But I can say that the music industry is evil. It is. And there are a lot of people in the music industry which takes advantage of not only women, men as well. I mean, if you take Drake, for instance, Drake tried to take advantage of The Weeknd when he was on the come up. He wanted to sign The Weeknd to OVO and he wasn't successful in doing that. So because of that, Drake resents The Weeknd. We got a call. It was late. We were living in LA. Um... <clears throat> And uh, we get a call and it's like, hey, like, yeah, he wants you to come to the studio. And we're like, cool, like, why? And he's like, he wants to work on music. And we're like, that's great. And so we go and it's like somewhere in LA, some studio we've never been to before. And we show up and walk in <clears throat> and it's, uh, we're there to work on music, right? Like, that's, that's why I'm here. 
and we walk in and it's Kanye and it's Diddy. And, you know, a couple of people that, that we know, men, um, you know, an executive that worked with Kanye, Kanye's engineer and um, Kanye's cousin. And we walk in and we're like, okay, cool. Um, and it's immediately, I was like, there's something not right. There's something not right about this. Cause we walk in and there's nine other women there and don't kill me for this. Cause this is what they call them. There were nine studio hoes there. Like I'm not, I'm all about women's rights, do whatever you want to do, but that's don't shoot the messenger. That's what they call them. Women who show up to the studio in their full club outfit at the studio. It's like, they're only there for one reason. They want to leave with someone who's there. Immediately, I felt like there was something weird um, because, you know, there's always drinks. There's always, you know, the, the vodka and the mixers just like sitting on the table. But we walk in and immediately and Diddy hands me a drink. Kanye hands Lauren a drink. And we're like, that's weird. <laughs> Why are they serving us? Um, and I don't like to drink. Uh, like, I don't like alcohol. I don't like the way that it like makes me feel. It makes me feel sick. So... But um, my manager, since the beginning, she was just like, I know you don't like to drink, but if someone famous um, hands you something to drink, even if you don't want it, just like hold it and like pretend because you don't want to seem rude. And I was like, okay. And it was like a vodka cranberry. And I was like, oh, gross. And so I'm just standing there with my back against the console, just like pretending to sip this drink. And I'm like, I'm not drinking this. This is gross. And um, my manager was sitting across on this couch with um, Kanye's cousin and then the other girls were sitting next to her. And immediately I was like, there's something wrong. Like I couldn't explain it. I didn't, I didn't know what to do, um, but I just like felt that there was, there was something not right. Okay, to add a little context, I get it. I 100% agree with her. And I agree that Kanye West and P Diddy, man, the fact that I'm even mentioning these two in the studio, it's, it's crazy. But then again, I think what Kanye did wrong is he liked the girl. He was interested in her, right? Why not just ask her out? Be genuine. Just like, hey, I think that you're super attractive. I want to date you. That's it. Because then you know exactly what Kanye wants. If he's... In the studio, they're giving girls drinks and doing all of that. Now, mind you, this is the culture in LA. You're in the studio, and what, I've been in the studio as well. Never giving girls drinks, because I, I don't do that. I don't give girls any, any drinks. I don't do that, because I was at a party once. This was when I was, what, 17? And we're partying, like, I don't know, well, maybe, maybe 40 people in my little apartment. So we're partying, we're partying. And these two girls stumble in, right, into our party. And they're like super wasted, like super drunk, right? And so her friend is like, uh, she's really drunk. Can, do you guys have like a bed? Can she like go and sleep in somebody's bed? I'm like, yes, I understand that she's super drunk, but you maybe what should call her mom or whatever, right? Uh, so they can come and get her. But then she was like, yeah, she's just going to lay in your bed for what? Like 20 minutes until the mom comes. And I'm like, okay, fine. Here's my room. You guys can, you know, be in my room. And then when the mom comes, we're going to go in and then we're going to, yeah, well, get her and then we can take her home or the mom. We can hand her over to the mother, right? So she's with her friend and the girl has passed out, right? And her friend disappears, right? So I'm sitting in the living room, you know, you're partying, you're talking to people. And she has a, another friend at the party, right? And so that other friend stumbles into my room. And this girl is like, she's what, sleeping in my bed, right? And she's like, her friend, her other friend, what have you guys given her? What are you guys giving her? I'm like, I haven't given her anything. She's drunk. She wanted to sleep in my bed. I allowed her to sleep in my bed. Who are you, by the way? And where is her friend? She's like, I, I don't trust you guys. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, her mom is on her way. So she's going to be here within, I don't know, maybe what, five minutes or whatever, right? So the mom comes in and then I explain exactly what happened, right? The mom phones the friend. 
in front of us, right? And she's like, oh, what happened? And the friend, she left because she left with some other guy. And she was like, oh yeah, they were really nice. And the Yambo was super sweet. And he allowed her to sleep in his bedroom. And I was like, oh no, it's fine, you know. And the girl apologized. She was like, oh, sorry. And yes, it's also because probably I'm a black man and a black man having a white woman in the bed and it's a party. I understand women have to be very careful. But from that day, I was like, wow, wow. I'm never gonna put myself in this situation again. Even though people around, even though people like what, there were so many people around in the party and everyone knew what was going on. I was like, I will never ever put myself in that situation. The mom apologized, uh, her friend apologized, and then they left. And I was thinking about that the whole time. I was like, wow, these, these people actually tried to say something or try to do something. So I'm like, be very careful, very, very careful when it comes to women and giving them drinks. I was 19 years old, like just left home a year ago, new in the industry. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know what to do, but I knew that there was something wrong, basically. And I was standing there present, pretending to sip his drink and my manager was sitting across from me. And, you know, if you know about like my past and like us being together, like <clears throat> she's very much um, reserved. And people would always say, like, oh, she's such a bitch. She has, like, a resting bitch face. And it's, no, it's because she has, like, a severe, like, social anxiety. Like, she just wants to, like, sit in the corner and, like, tap on her phone and, like, not talk to anyone. Um, so she's not a bitch. She's just very shy. And I see her across the room holding her drink. And it was weird because um, I noticed as I was standing there just kind of just, like, wondering what's going on, um, Diddy kept looking at me. And Kanye kept looking at Lauren and like they were exchanging glances and I'm like, they're like watching me strangely. And I'm like, okay, let me pretend to drink. And like, I'm not actually doing it. Um, and like that seemed to like make them happy. Like me, like pretending to like to join in. And immediately I'm like, there's something in this drink. There's something, there's something in this drink. Um, and I didn't know what to do. Uh, and I like, my manager was like across the room, but like close enough, but like not next to me. So I couldn't like whisper to her, but I wanted to tell her, I'm like, Hey, don't, don't do this. There's something wrong with mm. this, but I couldn't. So I reach for my phone and I start to type and Kanye takes the phone out of my hand and he's mm. like, who are you texting? Like, you don't need to text anyone. Like we're having a party. And I was like, okay. And he like puts it on <sighs> one of the speakers and I'm like, now what do I do? Um, like, I, I don't, I don't know what to do. And I see my manager take a sip. And I'm like, like, now what do I do? And then I see her take another sip, mm -hmm. two sips out of this little vodka cranberry cup. And I'm like, oh. Again, guys, I listened to 50% of what she's saying. I'm not gonna take everything at face value. I listened to it and I'm like, okay, hmm, that sounds, sounds like maybe it's true. Maybe she is inflating certain things which happen to make the story more believable, but 50%, I listen. I, what, what do I, what do I do? <clears throat> Two sips and I watch her face flush. Mm. And all of a sudden, like I look over and she's speaking really loud and like making jokes. And I'm like, whoa, like this isn't her. Like she doesn't make jokes. She's terrified of people. Like she doesn't even talk. And I was like, it's already, it's already hitting her. Like a hundred percent. I just knew that the drinks were all laced with something. Um, and she starts like almost being like belligerent a little bit, but not in like a crazy way, just like really enjoying herself. And I'm like, that's not her. That's not her. She doesn't even want to be here. Like, this is weird. And all of a sudden she like dismisses the studio hose. She's like, she's like, you can leave, you can leave. And I'm like, oh my God. Like what's going on? And the girls file out. They go to like a different a, a different studio, or they go somewhere. And um, I'm like, I have to do something. I, I have to do something. What do I do? And I go and I go to get my phone where Kanye put it on one of the speakers. And as I'm going to get it, I turn and my manager's walking out. And I'm like, no, 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 no. like where, like where, where, where are you going? Um, I'm already seeing people being like, this is Cap. What do I have to gain? Let me just ask you, what do I have to gain? I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm not in the industry anymore. 
I'm not filing a lawsuit, so I'm not getting paid. I'm not looking for clout because who gives a so how, why would I lie about this? This has been nine and a half years since this happened to me. Why would I, let me go on. I don't, whatever. Um, yeah, so I see her start to leave and I'm like, like, where, where are you going? And she's like, it's fine. I'm just going to the bathroom. And I was like, no, 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 stay, 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 stay. And she's like, it's right there. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. And I was like, okay. And she walks out. And all of a sudden, I realize that I'm in this studio. The music's low, the lights are dim, but you can still like see everything. And um, I realize that I'm in the studio with Diddy and Kanye, and they're both off their shit. And there's three other men, an executive that works with Kanye, his engineer, and his cousin, and me, alone. And I'm like, oh, okay and I haven't started freaking out yet like I know what the situation is I know um like I know this is a bad place to be in but I don't really feel scared yet you know like because I'm like there's other people around there's other men around and I know them like I've, I've known them for a while like nothing bad's gonna happen and I'm standing there and I realize that my so this is like a pretty like sizable studio there's like the glass doors the couch there a console another console the screen all of that but it's like it's it's pretty big but you can still see and talk to everyone easily and I realized that I'm standing really close to the exit and it's a glass door and it opens in and my question to you is why don't you just leave tell Kanye and Diddy this isn't what I signed up for I don't want any weird vibes from you guys I respect you guys too much to be hanging around when there's alcohol or just even say what well, I'm Christian this goes against my religion and leave this is the thing which I really really hate with girls like this is they're in a situation where they're they're waiting for something to happen why just say no I I need to go home make up something make up an excuse it has never happened to me I've never been with a girl and she has been like oh I gotta go Never. That has never happened. But I can't say I was, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I was hanging out with this girl. This was maybe what I want to say one and a half year ago, but it might have been maybe a year ago. Right. And, you know, I was feeling her. She was feeling me. We're sitting in the hotel room and we're drinking we're having fun dancing around you know you're having like an after party just me and her you know we're vibing i'm laying in the bed right and she's sitting a little bit further from me and i'm watching <laughs> i'm watching netflix or i put something on netflix i don't know if it was, i think it was maybe what maybe the what michael jordan documentary and then she says something about like oh why do you like Michael Jordan? And I was like, oh, you come, come closer, right? She came closer. I went in for the kiss. And then she's like, I have to be honest with you. And I was like, what? Um, I have a boyfriend. And I was like, ah, you have a boyfriend. Then why are you here? She's, she, she started laughing. She's just like, I just want her to go out, have a good time. And, uh, then I was like, okay, I understand. Um, this is a bit awkward, right? We're sitting there for maybe, I don't know, maybe what, 10 minutes. I put on some music and it was just awkward. So I said, you know what? Let me take you to the train. And so I walked her down to the train and then she, what? She SMSed me after. She was like, let me pay for dinner. Let me pay for the drinks. I was like, no, you don't need to. Hey, I misread things. Da 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 da. And she's like, no, it's just, I don't want to do anything. And then I'm going to feel very bad tomorrow. This and that. And I was like, I, I totally understand. You should have just informed me that you at least have a boyfriend before, you know, you come over and you know, we, we go a bit crazy, but then again, that's what happened to me. But why not just leave? Like, you know, when she came in, why not just like, not have a boyfriend? Why go through all of that? And then at the end of it, that's when you say you have a boyfriend. But even though, 
even though she said she had a boyfriend, she still didn't leave. So I'm like, ah, low key. I still think about her a little bit, but I'm like, she's got a boyfriend, so there's nothing more that I can do. I'm standing pretty close to it. And I realize all of a sudden that they, Kanye and Diddy have realized that I'm the only girl mm. in the room. <clears throat> and they're like, their minds. And they start coming towards me and they're like, hmm, don't you want to take your clothes off? Like, it's so hot in here. And I'm like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine like this. And they're like, come on, like, it's just us. It's like, we're all just friends. Like, let us just like see like how you look. And I'm like, okay, I don't, I'm fine. And like, I still haven't gotten scared yet. You know, like I'm still like, this is a bad situation. I'm creeped out, but like, there's no reason to panic. Mm. There's other men here. Um, um, hold on a second. This is the tea, guys. <laughs> this is the tea. Um, yeah, so they're coming towards me, and I'm like, okay, this is... I don't know where my manager is. I don't know where anyone is. Um, and they're coming towards me more, and they're trying to, like, take my clothes off. Mm -mm. And I'm, 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 like, at that point where I'm like, this, this is not good, but I'm, like, still trying to, like, play it off. Just, like, stop. You guys are fucking stupid. Like, get out of here. Like, don't touch me. There she has to say, I feel uncomfortable, stop it, no. She has to clearly indicate that no, a no is a no. Don't do that, don't even play that way. I'm already like, yes, I get it. she's trying to be like super nice, but with men you have to be direct. You have to say no, that's, that's making me feel uncomfortable. And then call the other guys out, why aren't you doing that? A, like a little bit scary. okay so it's um, the it's the video itself um I, did this just freeze yeah perfect okay no it's back this is a crazy okay, video so guys the point. so they start trying like they're like pawing at me like they're both drunk probably on something else um and I start to get a little bit apprehensive because I'm pretty much like backed up against the wall. Like there's only one exit and I'm pressed up against this door and I'm still not completely terrified yet, but uh, I'm like, you guys stop, like stop, stop. And they're getting to the point where they have like ripped my shirt off and um, like I'm like almost fully exposed at this point and they're both coming at me and I'm like, you guys like seriously, this is, this, this isn't funny anymore and I look to my left where his e executive is like we know him pretty well like I we've been around him a lot he's literally three feet away from me like if I reach and he reached too like we could touch like he's that close and I look and I'm like hey like I give that look where I'm just like come on like step in like this isn't cool like you're a grown man like you're like 50 years old I know you have a family like you know this isn't right like do something and this is the part that for as long as I live, I will never forget. It isn't actually the aspect of being sexually assaulted. That's not what haunts me. It's, it's this. It's as these two grown men were pawing at me, trying to take my clothes mm. off. I look over to this man asking for help. <clears throat> I literally mouth the word help. Mm. And we lock eyes. And he looks away. And I'm like, okay, there's still two more men in the room. And I look to his engineer next, he was sitting right, right next to him. And I know that he's married and he has, he just had a little baby girl. And I'm like, okay, he's gonna do something. Um, and I look at him next and I'm like, okay, like, do something, say something, do, do anything. And he, he looks down at his phone and starts texting. Mm, of course. And then I was like, oh, <coughs> and I look at Kanye's cousin next. And I'm like, do something, you know, and do something. Look at that guys. Look at that guys. And that's, when that like 
gut-wrenching fear set in. And I was like, oh shit, <laughs> no one's saving me tonight. No one's gonna do anything. No one's gonna do anything. And that's when I was truly scared. Um, at this point, they had ripped, they had ripped my, my shirt off and they were trying to get my pants off. And I realized that I was completely alone. And um, I closed my eyes for a second. And I was like, God help me, what do I do? I know this is horrible to say, horrible to say, right? But I'm gonna leave you with this <laughs> because it's a crazy story as well. Um, the other day I'm walking, uh, taking pictures. I don't, I don't know what the two towers here in Malaysia is called, but I'm there, right? And so this G-Wagon swings by, right? And this guy's like talking on the, the phone, right? He's not a big guy. He's like, uh, I'll say my size, right? Sitting, he's talking, he's like, what, a Malaysian man. I pass by him, right? And he looks, looks at me and he's like, oh, he waves, you know, like, oh, you tourist, you're taking pictures? And I'm like, yeah, taking pictures, you know, just, just, you know, new in Malaysia, what, you know, just ask him, so what do you do for a living? And he's like, oh, you're that guy. Oh, then we just like, you know how it is. Friends, making new friends. He's like, oh, I own three companies here in Malaysia. He's like, you know, like, you know what's so cool? I really like your hair. I'm like, oh, thanks, man. You know, conversating. It's like, oh, do you, are you a model or do you do that? It's like, I'm not really a model. I'm just like a... I'm a normal guy, I take pictures, I do some YouTube, this and that. I say, hey, what's your name? Oh, Davidson. Oh, and then I say, I don't even remember what his name is. But anyway, so he says, hey, do you, wanna, do you want me to drop you off wherever you're going? I sit and I think, hey, maybe this guy could be a friend. So we're sitting in the car and he's driving and he's talking about what? you know, what he does, how much money he makes and this, I'm like, oh yeah, then I'm also, you know, adding to it, you know, I'm struggling on YouTube right now, that's why I'm here, he's like, oh, blah, 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 like we're talking, we're, yeah, blah, blah, blah. you know, you know how guys get, you know, we're talking about certain things, this and that, and yeah, and he's like, you know what, you should come to a party, because I have a huge apartment here, right now I'm staying at this hotel, but you should come, you should, you know, you should, swing by what kind of drinks do you like i'm like okay a you know i don't know like uh wine you know it's cool you know good vibes laughing joking around right so we're supposed to turn and he continues driving and you know when that happened i'm like what the i'm like hey bro you're supposed to turn it's like yeah, yeah i'm just going to drive you down to my like under the hotel apparently there's there's like what a garage and then you can take the elevator up okay so he's driving we're still talking he puts on some music you know we're just hanging out right he drives down he parks right and so i'm like hey like yeah okay i take his number you know like i'll see you at the party later buy the wine i'm gonna come with something as well blah 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 and this guy's like don't go yet I want to get to know you oh my god you're so muscular right so he touches me here on the arm right and I look at the guy I'm like okay okay open the door I said to him he's like no 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 just blah 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 and I say open the door he unlocks the door I get out right and I just leave it has nothing to do with like oh no it's because like at the end there I notice like this guy doesn't just want to be my friend this guy wants something else you know i don't swing that way but me in that scenario i did not you know what let me go up to the hotel and see what's happening at his hotel like for what so he's a donkey rider that's fine but he's not gonna donkey ride me and as my eyes were closed this is gonna sound weird because <clears> a lot of you are wondering like how the fuck did you get out of this situation my eyes were closed and i and i prayed 
and I said, God, help me, what do I do? And it was like, it was like clear as day, I heard this in my head and it didn't make any sense. I heard, go towards them. And I was like, oh, f great. The one time I asked God for help, Satan answers because why? why would I go towards these two predators who are sexually assaulting me? Like, why would I do that? And then all of a sudden it clicked. My back was up against the glass wall. I could not go any further back. That was the only exit. He said, go towards them. They were already drunk off their shit. They were. So I lunged forward. I stepped forward and it like threw them off balance. Like they were like, oh, you know, and like they stepped back. That, that is where I have to say Cap. Listen, I've been listening to a story and I've been trying, trying to have some sympathy for her, yes, 100%, but that is where I call Cap, because did you watch P. Diddy, what he did to Cassie? Did you, like, you're, you're telling me that you lunged forward and then you pushed Kanye and P. Diddy. And the moment that they did, I reached behind my back, I pulled the door and I slipped out, grabbing my clothes. And I ran across the hall, across this corridor, and I hid inside of an empty studio that was black. Um, and I sat there for like 20, 25 minutes, just like crying, like, what do I do? And I'm texting my manager and she's not answering. Um, and eventually, I don't think I'm supposed to say this next part because it could hurt her case, but basically everything is true, basically. Because what I saw next, I saw it. I was the only one who wasn't drugged. I was the only one who didn't drink there drinks whatever it is i was the only one um so i saw what happened next and what who was involved um and that's why i'm a part of this lawsuit and like named in it uh and yeah it just that wait is she saying that kanye did something to her <sighs> i mean I, I eventually i got us both out and i got us in an uber and um she obviously didn't remember anything because she was drugged and I wasn't. And a part of the, apart from the aspect of, you know, looking for help and they turned away, the only other thing that really, really is, what about all those other girls that were there? Those nine other girls who were drinking the drinks before we even got there. Like, I know none of them got out. I know none of them got saved that night and i'm like do they even do they even know what happened to them <sighs> moral of the story stay out of the industry if you have daughters make sure to tell them that they're idols they should never meet and should never go to the studio with anyone even if you're invited there as an artist unless you have a bodyguard with you you know, I thought I'd feel better after telling that story, but I really don't. Um, all that I can do and all that I want you guys to do from this is learn from it. You as a man have to protect your resources. I'm working right now to become something. In the future, I see it, right? And I'm like, I'm going to get somewhere or at least I'm going to die trying. But on my way there, I have to be very careful because looking at what other people are doing and how they're moving, I'm like, no, I'll get myself a wife or a girlfriend. I focus all my energy on that girl. I'm with her. We're hanging out, all of that. And when she decides I want to leave, I don't want to be with him anymore. Fine. Or we choose to break up. Fine. But going out, partying, doing all this, all oh, going crazy. The hoes are in the studio. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do not. Be a nice guy. Be a genuine guy. Be a, a church boy. Go to church every Sunday. Pray. Sit. And this is the problem with Kanye West and Andrew Tate and all of them. P. Diddy. They invited the devil in. The only time things like this happen is when you're not following the scriptures, 
when you are trying to be God or I am a God, da, da, like, don't do that. Don't. Be humble. Be a nice person. Go to church. I say it so many times. Let's go back to church. Let's start praying. Let's. I want to pray. Like, I want to do sometimes videos where we just pray. Pray to God. And I know people are going to look at me like, oh, he's, he's a nice guy. Oh, he's a nice guy. Well, guess what? I'd rather be a rich, nice guy in my Ferrari, traveling the world, where people say, oh, Yambu is corny. I want to be the corny guy. Give me, give me corny. Give me beta. I want to be the beta.